Hello, I'm Keith Hilson with the Schmidt Music Trombone Shop back with another daily practice tip for you. And today I want to talk about air starts. What are air starts? Well, one of the things I love about being a brass player is that we tend to make things simple. We tend to describe things the way they are. So for example, lip slurs. A lip slur is a slur that we play with our lips. Air starts. These are notes that we start with our air. This is a really important concept for us. So often when we go to start a note, if we're not careful, we're utilizing the tongue, the articulation as a crutch to get the note to play. But the problem is that means that we don't have the same kind of control and a lot of times the same type of sound and diction and core and stability that we want to have in our sound. Instead, when we go to play our notes, we should be relying on our air to be doing all of the work really and all the tongue should be doing is just shaping the note not causing the note to start so for example we can take a note any any note say an f in the middle of staff here bass clef staff and i'm just using my air Oh, to get the note start, just as if I were singing it. Same exact concept. Then, and we talked about this before in our articulation videos, when we articulate the note, when we shape the front of the note, all the tongue is doing is shaping that air, that start to the note that already exists. We want to control that shape, but the air is what is starting it. So how do we work on these air starts? Well, just like so much of else that we work on, great place to start is with the mouthpiece. So when we are thinking about this, what we want to think about is making sure that we're supporting the air right from the beginning with our whole upper body, and especially making sure that the, uh, the diaphragm is playing a role in giving the correct amount of air pressure. Um, if we are not active with our diaphragm and the rest of our upper torso musculature, the note is going to have, we're going to get the dreaded air ball effect. And where the sound is not only does not want to start right away, but starts low in the pitch, the center, the core is not there versus making sure that we're filling up our whole upper body, supporting the air here. And so that way, as soon as the note starts, it's right on pitch, it's centered, it's full, and it wants to start quicker for us. So we can take something as simple as a scale. And starting every note with just that air. Then we can do the same thing on the instrument. And so on and so forth. I use air starts a lot in the morning when I'm playing my long tones to make sure that from the very beginning of my day, I'm focused on the air, working with the aperture to create the sound, and then adding on from there. So we can do things like our scales. We can do repeated notes. <laughs> And you'll notice, so not only am I starting the sound with my air, I'm also ending it with the air. Ho, ho, ho. And it should feel really active, like I mentioned. Ho, 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 ho. If you watch, when I'm doing that, my whole upper torso and the diaphragm here is very active. Ho, 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 ho. It, I, was, I was just thinking about this. It's a little bit like... The description of Santa Claus in the night before Christmas where they talk about his his belly moving like a bowl full of jelly because he laughs. Ho, ho, ho. Well, there's a reason that happens. It's because that's a very active sound. It's a very active motion. Ho, like that. That's what we need to have in a way to get that note to start. Now, we don't always want to be really strong. And, ho, 
pushing like that, but we have to have some of that motion. And most importantly, that compression and that activity with this, oh, to make sure that we're supporting the air. And really, you know, sometimes we can overthink some of this. What's the end goal? Taking that air and turning it into sound and trying to make the most beautiful sound we can right from the very beginning. That's the end result of this. This is one way we can work on that. So this week, I encourage you to think about adding some of this air start practice to your routine. Again, it can be during your long tones. It can be during your lip slurs, starting your lip slurs. <laughs> Trying to start every lip slur with the just that air start and whatever else to really start thinking about how it's working. And if that doesn't work for you right away, if you if we have a little bit of difficulty getting the note to start, that's why we're practicing this. So I hope this is a great start here. We're going to talk about some of these other concepts, what um, this air start and is going to help us with. We're going to talk about some other ideas as we go along. But I hope this video is helpful today. And so as always, if you have any questions or comments about this, please feel free to leave a comment. Or shoot me an email at tromboneshop at schmidtmusic.com. And please keep practicing and keep making music.